everybody's so different so it's not i can't yeah. give you the same exact formula that would give somebody else so it's right. just i could i could start off telling you balance out your carbs start off with you know uh breakfast lunch and dinner these type of carbohydrates you keep around your workout and then we'll see how your body does and then afterwards if your body is not doing what it needs to do then that's when we need to make the adjustments like okay maybe you're insulin resistant maybe you uh these carbs don't agree with your body, you know, maybe it's not enough fiber, things right. like that, it comes into play. It's just learning your body specifically. And then you, like the gains, I want the gains without gaining in the midsection. Yes, yes, yep. That's so why it's that's important for you to part. monitor your carbohydrates because anything that's in excess is gonna be start, stored as fat. Okay. So it's just making sure that, like what Ralph was saying, if you're eating these type of carbohydrates, if you're insulin <coughs> sensitive, <coughs> or insulin resistant type of individual if you're eating these type of carbohydrates um outside of your workout it's going to be stored as fat because your body don't know how to use that right. as glycogen she just seen chris doing the walking lunges and the benefits of lunges in general is just to not only work out your lower extremity you have your quads your glutes that are also being engaged while performing the lunge, but also working out any imbalances. So sometimes we have one side that we tend to lean on more than the other, and we don't realize that. Doing lunges helps to expose those weaknesses when you tend to just come down into a lunge and then you're like, why am I wobbling? That's the side that may be weaker. So the lunges helps to strengthen out those type of weaknesses so with the weight makes it a little bit more challenging of course extra resistance means burning muscle I mean building muscle extra resistance means building muscle which is also always a plus so you come down and then you come back up but sometimes when you go into your lunge, your knee kind of goes forward a little bit, if that makes sense. You see what I'm saying? So try not to have that knee go forward like that. Yeah. Come down. Yep. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That definitely helps to focus on. Weight on the back. Yes. Yep. To help to keep your stability and your balance. That's it. That's it, yep. Nice. See how you, when you do that, your body is more centered and you're forced to just use your quads muscles more. Yep. Three. One more. So, for my people who have bad knees, I have a stability ball. If you find that performing squats are challenging on its own, grab a stability ball, place it against a sturdy surface like a wall. Chest is up, track your shoulders. This is for extra external resistance. But you can also focus on targeting that glute, come down into the squat, and then come back up. See, the stability ball helps to alleviate the pressure on the knees. The external load, the kettlebell, of course. You have to use a weight that's comfortable for you. Everybody levels or fitness levels are different. That's why I never give an exact weight um, for someone to do, because everyone's different. So use external weight, something that's challenging, but yet heavy enough for you to complete 10 to 15 reps. Mm -hmm. You got it. Yep, chest up, shoulders retracted and back. Now slide down, you feel, yep. And then come back up. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, two more, nine, 
One more. Ten. Awesome. Oh, That's it. Good it challenge. Uh-huh. And that really does alleviate the pain on the knees, yeah, right? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. That evolve on your back. Helps to <laughs> alleviate the pain on your knees, right? Uh -huh. So we're alternating lunges with the rows just to get that high low interval exercise. And I'm using the ball because we don't have a bench, but normally you can do this on the bench. That's just a regular row. Chest is up, shoulders retracted and back because that's when you're going to get most of the benefits when you're performing back. Some people tend to leave their shoulders neutral, but that's the wrong way to do that because over a period of time, you tend to, you will hurt yourself. So shoulders, chest is up, back. Bring it in. Rotate the wrist. Inward. And have it. Fully extend it. Inhale, exhale, breathe in throughout the whole entire exercise. When you pull the cables, you're gonna rotate your wrist inwards. Well, towards your body, like towards it, like that. And then squeeze and yep. Yeah, yep. Okay. Make sure your chest is up, your shoulders are retracted. Because you wanna make sure you're targeting this right here. Yep. Relax your shoulders here. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then pull. You got this. That's it. Yep. That's it. Yeah. This is your strong arm, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Let's show they moving, right? <laughs> <laughs> they <ain't okay. laughs> yep. Thanks. Yep, that's good. Last time we did this, I kept saying yep, yep, yep. <laughs> we played the we played the video back. I'm like, damn, well, how many times I keep saying yep? <laughs> <laughs> So now it's time to replenish our muscle storage. We have some food that I brought from home, that I made from home, actually. I'm always stocking up extra water. We have some salmon, yellow white rice, and some cucumbers. We didn't have a fork, so here's a spoon. That is fine. <laughs> and then, so you have, see, because you have your protein, fats, and carbohydrates. All in one. You have your healthy fats from the salmon. You have your protein, of course, salmon has healthy proteins. And then you have your carbohydrates. Fast digesting carbohydrates, post weight training, and help to replenish that glycogen storage. So all of this all together helps repair the muscles. Now I have coconut aminos right here as a sauce. And we have green dragon sauce so that the food isn't dry. <laughs> so we can just go ahead and put this mm -hmm. over the fish mm -hmm. and the rice. That's like a substitute for. I like my sauce. Mhm. Mm That's a substitute for uh, soy sauce. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. The white rice is a fast digesting carbohydrate, which helps to spike the insulin, giving you that spike that you need to replenish muscle glycogen. The protein helps to restore the muscles. And then you have your vegetables, of course, for fiber, which is necessary, okay? So that's just a healthy balance of protein, fats, and carbohydrates. So what is that sauce? Coca is a substitute? Yeah. But uh, soy sauce, mm -hmm. the coconut aminos. I like that little sweetness that it has right. to it. Yeah. And it's not salty at all. Mm-hmm. It has a little sweetness. 
green dragon sauce. It's Spicy? Green a, dragon? A little bit. Not 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 good. Not super spicy. It's a little spicy. Oh, don't know I got the trap on a light. Oh, they don't know I got the trap on a light.